veg out video with CCUA. My name is Saxon and today I am going to talk to you about John Francis who's also known as the Planet Walker. He's going to be part of our Black Voices in the Natural Sciences. Um, and as we were researching different people to highlight, um, both Clint and I thought this guy sounded really inspiring so I'm excited to tell you about him today. Um, He's, overall, he's an environmentalist, that's kind of where he sits in the natural sciences. He was born in Philadelphia in 1946, um, and when he was a young man, he moved to California. This is a picture of him more presently. <laughs> Hopefully that works. We didn't kind have of, printing capacities. Kind of hard to see with the glare. Okay. <laughs> Bummer. Um, so if you want to know what he looks like, you'll have to look him up for yourself. Um, but when he was 25, there were two oil tankers in the San Francisco Bay that collided. And that created an oil spill where 840,000 gallons of oil spilled into the San Francisco Bay, covered the water, affected the wildlife. And he was part of the cleanup response to try to clean up the beaches and wash off the animals and save their lives. Um, but he ended up being left feeling like that wasn't enough. And so shortly after that, he decided to never use a motorized vehicle for many, many years. Um, and that's where he got the name Planet Walker. He started walking everywhere that he went across national, cross-continental, um, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a few minutes. Um, shortly after his decision to stop using motorized vehicles and to start walking everywhere, um, he noticed that he was getting in a lot of arguments with friends, with family, with acquaintances, because he felt really strongly about his choice um, to not support oil and gas industries and um, and he really kind of he describes it as like he was feeling like he was really doing the right thing and he thought by telling everybody about his ideas that he could bring them over kind of and get them to stop using cars but then he realized that wasn't really what was happening and it was just there was a lot of tension between him and his community and so on his birthday um, I think in 1972 or 73, he decided to take a vow of silence as a gift to his community, just for one day. And then as that day went by, he realized he was actually really enjoying listening to people and having some inner peace. And he continued doing that for um, several more days after that until he decided to take a vow of silence that ended up lasting from the time he was 27 years old until the time he was 44 years old. Really long time. Um, amazingly, while he was not using cars um, or airplanes, he did sail sometimes if he had to go across water to get somewhere. Um, but I would bet that it was like wind propelled boats and not um, gas or other fossil fuel propelled boats. Um, while he was doing that and not speaking, he um, pursued a very extensive um, education. So he got his bachelor's degree. He got his master's and he got his PhD all in environmental science related fields. Um, he also started a nonprofit called Planet Walker um, to help bring environmental awareness to the world. And he walked across the United States. He, each of those educational institutions that he went to, he walked to them. He um, walked and sailed to parts of Latin America. Um, eventually, he did come to end his vow of silence, and he also decided that in order to reach more people and to be more effective, he would start using motorized vehicles sometimes. Um, 
And since then, he's worked for the government and assisted in writing oil spill regulations. And he was also employed, appointed as an ambassador to the United Nations, um, their environment program. Today, he's a professor, an author, a speaker, and an activist. And he works on creating community and trying to be more inclusive to all cultures and peoples in environmental activism. And I want to leave you with um, this idea that was on his website, which I believe is planetwalk.org, um, which is his main goal was that since we as humans are an integral part of the environment, then also how we treat each other and how we treat ourselves directly and indirectly affects the physical environment. Um, so that's the message that he wanted to get out to everybody and the reasons why he chose to do the things he did throughout his life. Um, but he's a super inspiring guy. He's still alive. I believe he has a wife and two children. Um, I'm not sure where he lives presently. But you can go out and watch his TED Talks. You can go out and um, read articles about his life. And so if you were inspired today, uh, I encourage you to go out and learn more about John Francis the planet walker, a black environmentalist of present day. Um, tune in later for a story time. I think I'm going to read about fireflies and we'll have another video on Monday. Thanks guys. See you later.